Okay, you guys, we have a big box in front of us. Let's see what we got. Bonjour tout le monde, Jennifer here with, as I said, a box in front of us. This is, I think, 5.8 pounds of jewelry from Shop Goodwill. And it was just a lot. I'm not even sure if I saw a couple of things in there that seemed interesting to me. So I didn't have like, I didn't, sometimes I'll look really close at the lots and see if I see something I like. Um, I don't remember seeing anything like, you know, oh, I think that's blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, like, I think that's Kendra or something. Um, I just, I just bought a lot. So, look, we got bubbles. And we got more bubbles. I'm trying to get to our bag. Uh, let's see, what is this? 5.8 pounds bulk costume jewelry accessory bag. Um, I am all in after shipping and all that for $43. So not too far off from a blue box. So here's what I'm gonna do. I just took the bag out. I'm gonna try to get this box out of the way. All right, so we see my little setups here. I got my yes bin. It's the biggest bin. I'm thinking I'm manifesting more yes things. I've got my wearable, but I'll probably do better in a lot. And I've got my craft bin. Let's take a look. I see big chunky things. Oh, do I see maybe a soda light something or lapis? Okay. Probably faux pearls. I see a gold flat chain, which could be a unisex chain. What else? I see clip-ons. I don't see a name on them yet. <laughs> and yeah, these look almost green. That's interesting. So, I see a Charming Charlie. All right, so let's dig in and see what comes out of this bad boy. Um, the whole thing out. Okay, there it is. Um, maybe that can be my thumbnail, you reckon? All right. There we go. See lots of things. Okay, got my jewelry, my magnifier. I got my magnet so that we can check things. Of course, this is this has probably been sorted, so I am not expecting to find um, any valuable metals. All right, so this is so cute. We've got enamel, gold tone, an elephant with his trunk up, and this is a bead of some variety because you can see the holes. So I'm putting that in craft. All right, earrings. Y'all, I'm just gonna set aside for now and we will try to match up earrings at the end. This one is marked something. I think it's S, it says SP Avon. So that's marked Avon. I like that. Another earring. Oh, those are nasty. These things are so gross. Um, we'll see if the match comes to this. All right. Let's just start pulling stuff. All right. Hmm. We've got some purple, plasticky, maybe lucite beads on a string. They do look vintage. And we've got a, oh, sorry, a spring ring clasp i was looking to see if i saw any kind of name on it this is just this is really a fashion piece so that one i kind of wonder if the clasp is silver no it's not so we're going to put this in wearable but lot all right i think we found the charming charlie that I saw. So that's cute. 
Um, not the highest quality things, but they do make cute things. Oh, this is not even Charming Charlie. This is Claire's. That might be a step below, y'all. They might be on the same level. Um, but it is it's very cute. So we're going to put it in wearable, but lot. Okay. I, I'm really trying to shake things loose. Another elephant earring. All right, lots of earrings. These are terrible. I'm already going to throw that away. It's missing all of the, you know, coating, whatever was on it. Looks like we've got some kind of snap thing. I don't know what that is. Another earring. Look at that. That's definitely got some weight to it. Interesting. That is a beautiful bracelet. It's very much got David Yerman vibes. Of course, I do not see any mark on it, but it is gorgeous. And it's in pretty good shape. So, I will put this in wearable but lot. Isn't that pretty? I love those colors. Oh, that, did you hear how heavy that sounded? That was crazy. All right, this guy, oh, that stretch feels like it's gonna pop any minute. I'm gonna put that in craft. These are some purple metallic beads and some silver tone fluted beads. Right. <laughs> Oof, this looks vintage and it's just a strand of black faceted beads and they're cold so they might be glass. I think they're glass for sure. Um, Black faceted beads and seed beads. And we've got a little chain, a little spring ring clasp. Let's. The clasp isn't magnetic at all, so maybe something that I test. And I'm just going to put this in wearable, but lot. Looks like it might, you know, be a choker. Okay, let me see. I want to. Hmm trying to see if I can move you guys where we can look at a few things. All right, this is pretty. Look how pretty that is. Um, faux, faux pearl? Faux pearl. Yes, faux pearl. Double strand necklace. Um, this, the clasp is like a fish hook clasp. I don't see anything on it. I was really expecting to see Japan written on the clasp, but I don't. But it's still a beautiful vintage piece. So let's put that in wearable, but lot. All right, let's see what we have here because this looks like it's gonna come out relatively easy. Oh, how pretty. How pretty is this? Maybe I can do this, y'all. Hold on. There we go. Okay, I always forget that I can zoom up my camera in and out. Okay, check that out. So you've got this, I, f I forget what this kind of chain is called. And these purple, purple stones like cabochons. This is such a pretty piece. You've got a nice little fold over clasp. It is marked something. It is marked Napier um, with a patent number on the back. So I will look up that patent number and see when it was applied for or when it was granted and potentially um, get a close enough year for this. And there's Napier written on the back there. That is beautiful. Um. I'm going to put this in the yes. Now, there may come something. I might find some purple and gold earrings or something that I want to put with that and, and make like a little vintage lot. So, that is always possible. This looks like, oh, this is so pretty. I see a hang tag. I'm going to look at it right now. And it's something I am not familiar with. So I'm going to bring you guys in close because someone that's watching might recognize that. And if you do, 
I would love it if you could give us some information. But I've got a cloisonne bead. And look at the bead caps on this one. Those are very old. This is so pretty. These bead caps are old. They look like little cupcake liners. I am in love. Um, But I wonder if this is a homemade piece. Because the lobster clasp makes me think, okay, 80s. I, I think lobster clasps were even used in the 90s. But I do love that. That's so pretty. Um, I really don't know. I might put it in wearable, but lot. And it, it could end up somewhere else. I don't know. Oh, look at that poor thing. That's going in the trash. And we will try to pull this guy out. Oh gosh, I think I just pulled it right off the chain. It was on this chain. I sure did. Let's get this back together. I just took it right off, didn't I? All right. So we've got just a silver tone chain with this really pretty stone. Almost looks like a brachiated jasper. On the back, it, oh, y'all. I think we have Taxco Mexico. Y'all. You see Mexico 925? That says 950. That says 950. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is a definite yes, you guys. If, I mean, if it tests, hopefully they wouldn't stamp it like that and it'd be a, be a fooler, a faker. Let's hope not. So, let's see. What, what have I got on here? Um, there's an earring stuck to my magnet. Huh. So, that's going to be one that I will have to test. But I am going to put it in the yes. Yay! Please test for silver. I'm like looking right now to see if I've got my testing supplies right here, and I do. I'm just dying to know, y'all. I'm just dying to know. So, all right, let me put that back in the yes. I use 18 karat testing solution um, to test. I use 18 karat. It's uh, with the scratch that you make. It should turn it bright blue. So let's get a good scratch on this. Let's get a good scratch on the back of the pendant. Oh. And I'm going to try to scratch the chain. Joanne, forgive me. I think it's you I learned the um, toothpaste, toothbrush trick on, and I did not bring a toothbrush in with me. You wrap the, the chain around a toothbrush and rub, you know, the back of the toothbrush on your stone. And that makes it much easier to get a scratch. All right, we've got three scratches. We've got clasp, pendant, chain. All right, there's your blue. There's your blue. Fabulous, fabulous piece. Happy as I can be with that. All right. Happy as I can be. Okay, so let me put that back on. It keeps falling off. I didn't test the bail. I'm not super concerned about that. But we know that we have 950 silver. All right, let's take a look at this piece. Look how pretty that is. It's a little pink stone that looks like my birthstone. October is a rose zircon. And that's what that reminds me of. I don't see any mark. And it's on a silver tone chain. 
it's a simple piece, not very fancy. That would be the definition of simple, right? Um, <laughs> and we've got a little spring ring clasp. So yeah, that's cute. Um, this would be fun to put in a lot with other pink and silvery things that look kind of elegant. So yeah, we'll, we'll put that in the lot bucket. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what am I, what am I pulling out here, kids? Okay. Um, today's Thursday. I'm hoping this video goes out by Saturday and... This is the only night I'm going to get to film. Our boys basketball team is in the playoffs. And of course, I work um, almost all the sports events at my school selling tickets. Look at that. So we've got a game tomorrow night. So I knew I had to film this tonight after work. Isn't that pretty? That's glass. That is a beautiful piece of glass. Oh my goodness. And we've got wooden beads twisted into a torsade. These beads have see a little bit of wear, but it might be something that I can clean up. I don't think that it's something that would detract um, a potential buyer for this. This is such a unique piece. I don't see any kind of mark on it. Look at the, where you can hook it. That's pretty neat too. Okay, I like this. Um, I really want to put this in the yes because it is such a statement piece. I don't know how, oh, I know how my camera got up again. There we go. There we go. Got you back so that you guys aren't all up on everything. That is fabulous. I'm putting that in the yes. All right. Let me see what we got. Got a, something on a barrel clasp. This was the the um, little necklace that I saw in there that I thought I saw some either sodalite or lapis. Um, I don't see a lot of white in it, but I kind of do. So I am going to call this lapis. And a little piece or a little lapis bead right there. But I do wonder about these being silver. would be cool if we had another piece of silver in here. Yes, uh, slightly magnetic. It could be, what is this strung on? It could be whatever it's strung on. You never know. Um, oh gosh, no, it is not silver. That went up fast, but I really, really do like this. Um, I am going to... <laughs> I, mm, I don't know where I want to put this right now. I'm going to put it in wearable, but lot. And we'll see about, you know, see if I've got any other um, pieces that could coordinate with that. All right, let's get you unsnarled. There we go. So we've got this cute little heart with all these rhinestones and... It's crazy, but I don't see a single missing rhinestone. You see those catching the light? I don't see a mark back here. This thing is all kinds of tangled up, but I definitely don't see any um, indicator of a maker's tag. So this is something that I'll just take time to undo later. I'm gonna put it in wearable, but lot. We got going on. Okay, we've got something undone. Let's take a look. This is sweet. Very feminine. Very sweet. This is the Charming Charlie tag that I saw. So that's CC is Charming Charlie. And that's a very sweet little necklace with all the peaches and the gold. And um, these little filigree pieces look like flowers and hammered gold tone disc. So that's going in wearable, but lot. I would like try to find some coordinating pieces, bracelet, earrings. That would be cute for Easter. That is giving me strong Easter vibes. Something untangled. Okay. 
She has a lot. That's so pretty. There doesn't seem to be a lot of color loss in the gold tone, so that's good. Look on the back, and I think I see it. Let me pull y'all in. That looks like a dot within a circle, and that's an Avon mark. All right. So, watch Avon be stamped right here, and I didn't need to do all that. <laughs> that would be my luck. I do like this. Um, I am going to put it in a yes. Now, not all Avon sells well, not all Avon sells high, but there are some pieces that are coveted that people are looking for. And, um, and you know, so what I'll do is, is Google Lens this. I will research it. If it's a piece that sells really well on its own, I'll sell it on its own. If it's not, oh, it'll go over to wearable, but lot of. Um, so that's, you know, those are some decisions I make later as I'm deciding about listing. So this is cute. This is really, it's a plastic, I think. And it's really lightweight. Um, no, it's, I thought it was missing a rhinestone, but it's not. These rhinestones are almost like a milky white. There's one in each little flower. Um, this is interesting. I don't know what it's made out of. I really don't. And it's got the fish hook clasp. Do I see anything written on it? I don't think I do. And yeah, this is sweet. I am going to put this in wearable but lot. I might have to do a little more searching on it. That just is this sounds like a shell. But it's so lightweight. It has to be something else. So that's so cute. Dun -dun, I see BR. That looks like, is that an old Banana Republic tag before they started flipping the B and the R? Um, let's, oh, hi, I like this. This is my style, y'all. I wore a necklace very similar to this to work today. It's not missing any of its little black cabochons. You know, maybe there's some color loss on this. It needs to be cleaned up, but I don't think that it's so bad that it's unwearable. So I think somebody wearing this would still get a lot of compliments on their um, necklace. And the reason I asked or wondered if it was an old Banana Republic, because I see BR, and y'all can see that, I hope. And so Banana Republic usually flips that R around, but I don't know if, if on an older tag, they would have had it correct. So, I'm gonna put this in wearable, but lot. I think that would look cool with some um, like black and gold tone chandelier earrings. Okay. Hey, are you loose? Yes, this is neat. I love all the rainbow colors, but I think it might be two things. Hold on, two things at once. Oh, man, I feel like I got this a necklace similar to this in one of my last mystery boxes. So bizarre. So bizarre. I, oh, there's hair in it. That's grossing me out. Oh. All right, y'all. Okay. Ah, I like this one. I don't like the Amelia one. But I got... I, I got an Amelia necklace in one of my previous boxes. Okay. Um, so we've got lots of seed beads and these gold dangles. These gold tone dangles have lost all their color. Um, they're nasty. They're gross. I don't even think they can be cleaned up. I am putting this in craft because someone could certainly use all these um, seed beads. They could even take all of these off and put on whatever they wanted as far as charms. So, 
Des, what I'm gonna do with this. It's going into craft. Okay. All right, let me show you the Amelia. I got, oh, can y'all see the hair? I am like grossed out right now. Seriously grossed out. Oh, okay. I'm like mm, so close to throwing this in the trash. So, um, this says MDB. MDB, and it, it's got the name Amelia on it. I'm clueless. Okay, you guys. Um, we're back. I ran out of room on my phone, so I have to go in and delete a bunch of things. Hopefully, we are back in business, and I'm not filming a bunch of nothing. Okay. Um, this is pretty. This looks vintage. It looks very 80s. Needs a good cleaning. But these beads are in decent shape. Um, I don't see any kind of maker's mark. But we'll put it in. We'll put it in wearable but lot. All right. Of course, this got tangled in it again. Look at that. It's dirty. It needs a cleaning. I don't know what. I don't know what the brown stuff is on it, but I'm going to try not to touch it. Um, but look at this. Look at that pendant. It's so pretty. So it just kind of hangs like that. Hang on. Let me see. Back y'all out. Just a hair. Yeah, it just kind of hangs. That's cool. What a cool pendant. So we've got that. I'm looking to see if I see a maker. And there's our circle and our dot again. So we've got an Avon necklace. Um, I'm going to put it in the yes, do my research, and then decide if I want to lot it up. That's an earring. What are you? This looks like a broken piece of a necklace. Um, simply Vera Vera Wang. I think that's that symbol. Okay. I don't know if this guy's gonna come out easily. Yep. All right. I'm gonna unhook you. Oh goodness, that is a statement and a half. Check that out. So, are all the dangles here? I believe they are. Yep, I believe they are. So, we've got this blue and gold tone bib necklace. Um, don't see any maker's marks. It could be, you know, it's just very fashion. It's not, not anything named, but it's pretty. We're going to put it in wearable, but lots. Um, all right, we've got we've got more of the elephants, so they are going over and craft. I've got some earrings here that are going over two earrings. Did we already find that one? Oh my gosh, look at that one! Look at all those. That's incredible. All right. Um. Oh, I wonder if that went with the elephants. Were the elephants gold tone? They might have been gold tone. This is silver tone. That's going in craft. Earring. Earring. Oh, I wonder if that would match that pink necklace. That necklace with the little pink stone. Oh, look at that. The 80s called. They want their earrings back. Um, I think I say that in every video. Y'all tired of it yet? All right. Got some more earrings. All right. Earring. 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 Weird earring, 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 cool earring, a little butterfly pendant going into craft, chunk. Okay. All right, we've got this really pretty, feels like glass beads necklace. At least these are glass. Look at these. They um, they're almost see through. They're pink. And they have the green flecks in them. Isn't that pretty? This is a very pretty piece. Again, reminding me of spring. I love it. All right, we are putting that in wearable, but what? There we go. 
This is a cool necklace, you guys. I need to push all these rhinestones to the side because I might need them. Look at this guy. Looks like giant ice cubes. <laughs> I love it. Very cool. Let's see if we see anything written on the clasp. A lot of times a maker might stamp something on the toggle bar. Don't see anything. And looking at that, don't see anything, but I like it. These are plastic or acrylic, and we are going to, they do so show some signs of wear. You see the edges are a little bit um, chipped, but I think I can clean it up, and it's still a beautiful wearable piece. And maybe I can put some kind of lot with it. What this was supposed to be, was this supposed to hang in a window? I don't know. It's got this and this and that. So it's going into craft. These are beautiful though. These are beautiful. Okay. I wonder if you'll come out easily. Don't throw away your little earring backs. Check them all. Some of them might be stamped at 14 karat gold or stamped with gold. I already see the stamp on this one is Avon. Okay. I see a bead. Um, the, oh, this necklace is broken. So this necklace is automatically going into craft. But man, that's a lot of beads that somebody can use. That is a lot of black Probably a mix of glass and plastic beads that are usable, but I think one of the strands broke. So you see the bugle beads are falling off, faceted bead fell off, so it's going into craft. All right. This tangle right here is what's got me. You are pretty industrial looking. Oh, CNC. CNC double double or 18 carats double what does that mean y'all there were were there earrings on this look it's like glue and something weird that is bizarre because there's nothing on it now all right we're setting that aside that's weird all right this needs a definite cleaning I don't know if I can get this in wearable shape, but I do love it. I do love it because it's just so geometric and so edgy. That's, um, that's a cool piece. So I'm gonna put it in wearable, but lot. Um, look on the back. I don't see any kind of maker on it, but I do like the edginess of that. We got something. All right, so this is, I wonder if something went in there. This is hollow. Like it's, do you see how it's concave? Um, so I don't know. I don't know. It's not silver because it is stuck like crazy to my magnet. We got a spring ring clasp. And like I said, I don't know what this is. I think I, I see something on the bail but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see it. So we will put it in, huh, wearable but lot, and I will check into that more. Okay, I'll show you in case you're unfamiliar with the sister clasp, what that is. I think the company that made that a thing was Monet. So we've got this delicate gold tone chain and little tiny purple beads love love and then we do have a tag it does look like a monet tag and it is so we have monet right there and now the sister clasp is this one when i pull the lever down both of these sides are going to open up okay so that's called the sister clasp in case you didn't know i'm in love with this necklace it's so dainty so, so dainty. Um, I'm tempted to keep this. So, well, I'm going to put it in the yes, and I might end up keeping it. 
Okay, you guys, let's go back to where we were. Um, let me, I think I'm going to bump you down a little bit. We were on this chain, and I got a little bit excited. A little bit. So, I saw, what did I see on here? Where is it? It's right there. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it to you guys. Does that say 14 carat? Is this, it doesn't look like gold gold. But I think that says 14 carat, you guys. Um, I'll have to, yeah, I see 14 carat on here. Do you? On this. Or at least on that little piece. So, I got a piece that I need to test and see what I got. That's exciting. I can honestly say I've never just found it in a box that I have gotten. Um, so, oh, that's an interesting earring. I am a little bit excited about that. Popular. And I think I remember seeing this. Look at this guy with this flat, um, almost like herringbone chain. I love it. I've got a little spring ring clasp and a hook. Oh, and we see our famous circle and dot. And that is Avon, should be Avon. Oh, it's like a door knocker. <gasps> Look, it moves, that one moves. Oh, I'm putting it in the yes. I'm putting it in the yes. Hopefully that is a, like a sought after Avon piece. All right, this is still in the card, which is why I was trying to get it out. So we've got this, it says fashion earrings. Um, but we've got these, this is all plastic or acrylic, but it's cute. It's cute. I will put it in, um, wearable, but lot, but I don't know if I'll be able to get that clean. Um, it's pretty grimy. Oh, this looks like Swarovski, you guys. Okay. Let's take a look at, there's this other earring. Did we get a match? I think we did. Look at these little guys. Aren't they pretty? With the little heart dangles. All right, let's take a look at the back. I don't see anything marked on them. Feel in the post to see if I feel anything etched on it. And I do not, but those are pretty. So I like that we have uh, one pair of earrings. I'm gonna put it in wearable, but lot. I have a heart necklace and a pair of heart earrings that are gold tone. So I could put that with it. This is cute. This is interesting. All right, let me get, this is, hmm. This is something I can't untangle. Um, okay. So we've got these little swirlies on Figaro chain. So when you got the long oval like that and you have the short links like that, that's called Figaro chain. Usually it's an uneven number of links here. It could be three, it could be five, but it's usually uneven. I say usually, not er time, not every time, but usually. All right, I don't see anything on any of this, but that's pretty and I'm gonna put it in wearable, but lot. There's one. I can't believe it's on this dilapidated um, decomposing foam. <laughs> that's interesting though. Look how pretty these are. Those are some pretty earrings on some decomposing foam. I'm just, oh, this foam. This feels like it came out of an Avon box. 
I don't see any kind of marking, but I am going to go ahead and do away with the dilapidated foam. And uh, we will put these two together. I'll Google Lens them later and see what comes up, but this has got some Saved by the Bell 80s vibes happening. Was Saved by the Bell 80s or 90s? Um, anyway, it does have some Saved by the Bell vibes. I love it. I love the splatter. That's cool. Wearable, but lot. All right, what are you? And are you easy to get out? Oh, heck no. Why would you be? And y'all are going, is all that noise necessary? This thing is longer than my wingspan. So this is over five feet long. <laughs> In editing, I'll try to get a measurement of this set of faux pearls and throw it out at y'all. Um, it does have double clasps, so I wonder if it was a convertible of some sort and it had some other necklaces that went with it, but I would list this. Um, I might do wearable, but lot. Sarah Cuff stuff doesn't sell high, um, but I think with the right accessories to go with it, that would be a fun piece. That was a lot, but that's a cool pendant. It's geometric. Let's try to get it to look like something. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Very, very pretty. I don't see any kind of mark on it. I think this is the back. I don't see any kind of mark up here, but it is pretty, so I'm gonna put it in wearable but lot. I think this big bin needs to be my wearable but lot, because that's usually what I end up doing. All right. Oh my goodness. This is an earring, y'all. Jeez please. Okay, I've got a couple earrings here. Look at that guy. Looks like fireworks. That's an earring. It's crochet and sequins. Good gravy. That's a big one. And that's another earring I love. Love that. What's on the back of it? <gasps> Y'all see that? KJL for Avon. I hope we get the match. Okay. Goodness. Is a this. All right, we got this black and white. These, some of these feel like wood. These feel like wood. This feels like um, acrylic. So it's just a, it's an older necklace. The clasp has seen so many better days. It's in really bad shape. Um, so I am going to put this in craft. These would be fun to use and craft with or, you know, turn into something else. Um, I would have fun making earrings out of some of these, for sure. Um, yeah, I would have a good time making earrings out of those. But it's going into craft. Okay, and we've got this pendant on a piece of rope. Um, it's interesting. I, I don't know what it is, though. I mean, it's just... That's all it is. So I'm going to put that one in craft also. Put that over there. We have an H necklace. Kind of rainbowy. That's fun. Tough sell. And it says Disney. That says Disney. All right, and oh, it's got a little Mickey thing back here. Um, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I'll put it in the yes and then figure it out. This is going in craft, it's stretchy, it's little stars, they're plastic. Okay, that is a pendant, that's a lot of fun. I don't see a chain that goes with it. We'll hold off on where we throw it unless, and see if we find a chain that it looks like it might have gone on. 
like it wouldn't have gone on this one because this one is attached it's still like together but we do have a flat like serpentine gold tone chain and there's something written right here did we do it again did we do it again Do y'all see 14K? Because I do. Okay. I might have another 14 karat chain here. And it's one of those, I've always, I remember wanting one of these as a kid or as a teenager. Wanting one of these, does it, is it supposed to go down like that? I think it is. Where it comes down, let me zoom y'all out. Somehow y'all, oh, I zoomed you in. I've always wanted one of these that comes down to a V like that. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't think I've ever gotten that lucky. I really haven't. Go back and watch some of my jewelry unboxings. I have never gotten that lucky. This is just a piece of chain. It doesn't have a clasp. It doesn't have an anything. Um, it's like what do they call it? Double Byzantine. I'm going to put that in craft. Uh, okay, here we go. We did get this chain out. And is this one that has an Avon mark? I don't see anything there. And I don't see anything there. So, um, I wonder if this went on there. So, I don't know. But we got a gold tone chain there. And I'll worry about that later. Let's look at the... Oh, it's a little wooden bracelet. Check that out. With little gold tone beads. Spring ring clasp. It looks like a different clasp color than the rest of the bracelet. So, I am going to put this in craft since the the clasp doesn't really match maybe it was replaced at one point um but yeah that was cute <laughs> this one's a long one too all right so uh, this poor guy oh we could un i can untie that um no maker's mark wouldn't expect one but these glass beads are beautiful and again this is giving so many spring vibes so many spring vibes spring and summer easter wearable but lot okay i see an earring all right come on y'all probably think i am the most fumble finger person okay i am really clumsy these are pretty I don't know what these are ever made out of, but they're like carved. I think this just feels like plastic to me. Um, and then you've got this barrel clasp. This is an old piece. Isn't that pretty? We'll put that in wearable but lot. This is pretty. I've got these like red, red carved glass beads. Aren't those beautiful on a gold tone chain? And like I said, this had the, um, I thought this was marked Avon, but this may not be. This may be something totally different. I think it is, but it is beautiful. My hands feel gross now. Okay. This is so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Wearable but lot. Oh yeah, we're doing that later. Oh, that's an earring. This is that other earring that I already threw away. Okay. Oh, looks like we have a little cha-cha charm bracelet. So it's got these little, oh, these glass pieces are so pretty. 
Look at that. And it's like a flower shape. And they, oh, they're definitely glass. Definitely glass. How cute is that? The toggle is broken. So your bar on the toggle clasp is broken. So it is gonna go and craft, but these beads are adorable and they're beautiful. This glass is so pretty. So that is going into craft. Some beautiful glass beads. Great. This is cool. All right, let me, I got all excited about this. I think these match a necklace. Okay. Um, look at this guy. This is acrylic. It's not real, but it looks like malachite. Do y'all see my hand twitching? It, it just twitched a couple times. Run it back. Uh, if you saw it twitching right there, that's, that's part of the carpal tunnel. And this is a Charming Charlie. So I will put this over in wearable but lot and, you know, Try to pick out a bunch of green and gold to go together. That'll be cool. All right, we've got this cute little necklace. I'm not going to undo that right now. It's a little heart. Is that a fertility thing? You see the woman, and she looks a little bit unclothed. And it says, oh, something about sterling. I can't read what's above it. Let me pull that in for y'all. Something about sterling. Does everybody see that? All right, let me see. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Can y'all see that? West Germany. Kremens. Kremens sterling. West Germany. Wow! Bracelet! And we got the Avon mark again. So we got a flat unisex bracelet. If you know me, you know I love my unisex stuff. I'm looking. Alright. That's going to go and craft. Earring. Earring. Alright, we got like a necklace with some wings. I'll put, um, this chain has seen better days. Um, oh, and it's that A again. I'll put it in wearable, but lot. I have a strong feeling it's going to go to craft. That's pretty. I don't, still don't know what this is. But it says union. So I don't know what that is. This looks like a scarf clip. Cool. Very 80s. Let me zoom y'all back out. I keep forgetting that I zoom you in. And then y'all are like stupid close to me. Okay. Or close to the screen. All right. Cute little bracelet. The stretch actually feels decent. Flip it inside out. Let's look for a mark. Not seeing one. We'll put it in wearable, but lot. And cool. Oh, we got that one's match. Look at these. They feel like, kind of like wood, but they almost feel like a, a, a composite also. Okay. Those are funny. All right. I'm going to try to try to hook that together. And we'll put those in wearable, but lot. That can go in something springy or Barbie core pink. This is pretty. I don't know what, I feel like these stones are like manufactured to look like stones. It's like a leopard, supposed to look like a leopard jasper. Um, that almost, uh, not Dalmatian, but, and then we've got the spring ring clasp. I like this. We'll put it in wearable, but lot. All right. We got, this is um, called a Shambhala bracelet. Now, true Shambhala, it's gonna have a certain number of beads. They're gonna be um, certain colors and order. I remember discovering them with uh, when Jay-Z was wearing one. 
everybody was all about, what is that bracelet? And it was a Shambhala. And I blew it up and looked at it. And I said, I can make that. And I just started making them. This is the first kind of jewelry I ever learned how to make was macrame. And I used to make necklaces and things or bracelets on the beach. And people would buy them from me as a child. I was like probably about 12 years old. Um, Mom had a house a couple blocks from the beach. And when I would visit her, that's what I would do. I would sit on the beach all day <laughs> and macrame. Loved it. Because I think I'm close to getting a few little pieces out that we can look at. Here, an earring. Did we find this one's match? This is such a cool earring. Oh, but I don't know what that is. That's organic. Oh, Lord. <laughs> have to take a serious shower. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> what are you? This feels like two necklaces, and I think it is. Okay. Another Avon. Look, the Avon box. And it's this cute little butterfly. Look at him. But it also snap. Oh, I bet, so do you see the snap? I bet you could pull this up and change the color of your butterfly. So I'm going to put this in the yes because there may be somebody out there that has these and no longer has the necklace and is looking for the necklace. Um. So, oh, this has hair in it. Oh, it's got hair in it, <laughs> y'all. I can't do the hair. Um. But it is pretty little little tiny rhinestones very pretty but it is a modern piece on a lobster clasp lots of hair we'll put it over here in wearable a little cha-cha faux pearl bracelet I think it's faux pearl and gold tone spring ring clasp we will put it in wearable but lot Oh, I think, I think we have a matching necklace. We do. Um, so we will put those together. Um, I would love to be able to find maybe a pair of earrings that goes with it and have a Parur to sell. A Parur is a set of three of something that go together. So a Demi Parur would be two things that go together. Demi is the French word for half. So demi parur, half set. Lord have mercy, this chain. But it's cool. It's like a twisted paperclip chain and it's got these coins on it. Coin jewelry is kind of in right now. So you've got this nice long chain with the coins. It needs a good washeroo. Um, a spring ring clasp. So it is an older piece. I like. I like it. This would be a great layering chain. We'll put it over in a wearable but lot. Okay. I see some things over here that are already untangled. I'm going for those. Hey, these two match. Did, did we have some green and gold earlier? I think we did. I'll have to look around. This is cool. Look at this necklace. It's like big bars. And kind of like these connector thingies. That's neat. All right. And we've got a fish hook. I'm going to see if I saw anything written on it. I don't, but I feel like this would show up in Google Lens. I feel like this is a unique enough piece that if I Google Lens it, something will come back to me. So yeah, I like that. I'm putting it in the yes, just because I know I need, I should Google Lens it and see what comes back. 
All right, so let me see what we got back here. We're, we're all the way back here, y'all. Um, more elephants. Um, some kind of bead. Hoops, y'all. This just, that's a whole headband, but no, it's a hoop. Um, yikes. Okay. This cute little bracelet, kind of like a rose gold coppery looking thing. I think though, I think all of these should have been rose gold and they're, I don't know. I'm going to put this in craft. I don't even know if it's craftable. It might be trash. Okay. <laughs> this mess. I am going to, I'm thinking, turn off the camera and untangle all this and come back. Because this is just going to take me hours. All right, y'all. We're back on a different night. <laughs> so, um, I just got so tired trying to untangle. Um, so we're going to, we're going to hit this really fast because this is already a long video. All these little ones you see right in front of you were a huge knot. We have, I'm trying to think of where I can move stuff. I'm pretty sure a lot of this you've already seen. I know you've seen this one, um, so I'll put him to the side. All right, we've got this. This is an Avon necklace. Again, Avon, not selling, you know, it doesn't sell huge high amounts. Um, sometimes the collabs can do well, Avon collaborations, um, like Jose Barrera for Avon, but Avon by itself doesn't, you know, doesn't sell for great amounts. But here we go with this. Um, I feel like we need another light. Ah, uh, just simple gold tone necklace marked with Avon. And so we will put that in the wearable but, but lot. We have this pretty little heart with red rhinestones in it. All the rhinestones are there on a gold tone chain, very delicate. Um, as a matter of fact, there's a little kink. All right, and this is also Avon. It's got the dot and the circle there. So, and the dot and the circle is in the heart. So, wearable, but lot. Um, we've got this leaf necklace gold tone with like a little rhinestone here and I can't remember what it is it is Avon there's an Avon tag right there wearable but lot <laughs> we got a theme going here don't we we've got this very delicate beauty little teeny tiny pearl I don't even know if it's real pearl could be a faux pearl hold on it's faux. It's faux. Um, and was this Avon also? Yes, this is Avon also. Wearable, but lot. Okay. And then this one. Look at this. Let me roll this around so you could see it flashing. Look at this crystal. Uh, now, I don't know if Avon ever did anything with... Austrian Crystal or Swarovski, but this is incredible. So, this is marked Avon. I had to get my loop out and read right here, and I don't know if I could show you guys, but it is there. Gosh, my loop is dirty, y'all. All right, let's see. It does say Avon, and it says a 14 KTGF, meaning 14 karat gold filled. So that's why I'm wondering if this is a Swarovski crystal or something Austrian. So I got a little research to do. And for that reason, I'm going to put that in the yes bin. That's a gorgeous piece. All right. Um, tangled up in something, one of those tangles. I had about three to undo. I did it for as long as I could last night, and then I had to give up. 
was this actually I really like <laughs> um charming charlie necklace so it's got these swirly gold tone bezel set pieces I don't even know what they're made out of I mean more than likely plastic or acrylic but I just think this is the cutest necklace I think I just love green and gold together I think that's what that boils down to so we'll put it in wearable but lot. I don't think I showed this necklace. I think this, yeah, this was all tangled up in that mess. Um, and are we still tangled up? Huh? No, we're not. Y'all, I probably didn't get all the things out, but look how pretty that is. That looks like, um, I don't know. Kind of see through it bezel set. I really like that color stone and this did not have any kind of mark. I don't think. It just had this little rhinestone hanging from it. So don't know what the maker is on this, but I like it. But since it's unbranded, wearable but lot and we'll see what we can put together. Um, Don't know if I showed this. I think this was tangled up in all that mess. We've got a silver tone necklace. I think it's silver tone. Um, with like a tassel. And this is loft. So, wearable but light. Okay. And then we have this guy. I don't even think I finished untangling this. I just got it out of the tangle. And... I, it needs, I'm going to clean it. I will clean it and see what I think. I just feel like there's a lot of gunk over here. Um, I don't think there's any missing rhinestones, but it needs a good cleaning. And this is also loft. So we got a loft piece. So wearable, but lot. We're going to put it in the wearable and I'll know I have to clean it. Did I show this? I think I may have shown this. I can't remember, but... Yes, I did. All right, so we're, we're getting rid of that. Well, not getting rid of it, but we're setting that off to the side. It did test for silver, okay? So um, let me just, yeah, let me reiterate. This and the chain and the clasp all tested positive for silver. Okay, so we've got some more 925. Um, okay, we have this beautiful green stone um, and, and it almost is, has a yellow hue, so I was leaning towards serpentine on this, but it, it could be something else. Um, on a silver tone chain, and it has this mark, which I know I've seen. I just can't remember what it is. It's, I don't get it often. So if you know that one, you can help us out in the comments. But I do like this green stone. We're going to put that in wearable but lot. Okay. We have this thing, this pendant that says amour, which is the French word for love. And weirdly enough, when you wear it, it's upside down. I just can't, people. I can't explain this. Why would they do that to wear it when you wear it? It's upside down. See, I want to take it apart and fix it now. Um, <laughs> and it, it's that A. So, it's so strange. So strange. Um, I don't think we saw this. This is a really pretty necklace. I don't know what to do with like fertile woman there. Fertile woman. Okay. Nope. <laughs> we can't go there. Okay. <laughs> this is a pretty necklace. I, I am drawn to this because my school colors are blue and gold. And so I'm naturally drawn to this. A little fashion piece. And um, it was actually broken when I pulled it out. I've already fixed it. That was an easy snip or, you know, reattachment there. And um, it is Leah Sophia. So there we go with Leah. All right. And it's going in wearable, but lot. Um, 
did I show this one? I can't remember. I kind of want to hold on. Maybe not. Um, this is really pretty. Is that? That's supposed to be there, I think. Because it's smooth as butter. All right. Um, this is like wooden and glass or, yeah, glass beads on a silver tone chain. I like this boho quality of it. So, yeah. A cool mix. I love blues and browns together. That's a cool thing. The minion. The minion was tangled around everything. Of course it would be. It's a minion. We got this guy on a string. He's like resin or acrylic. So, um, I'm not like, ah, oh, about that. Um, I am awe about this. <laughs> I am very awe about this. Okay. Let me get you guys. There we go. Take a look at this necklace. This is a doozy. You, it's got a toggle clasp that you connect in the front. And it's got these two beautiful... Murano glass beads. This whole necklace is sterling. Everything on it is sterling. Needs good cleaning. And it says um, Venetiarium. So don't know if that's a place in Venice, Italy. Venetiarium, Venetiarium, and it says made in Italy by Ulene Italia. So, how cool is this piece? I am, how cool is this? I'm so happy with that. So, there's that. All right, we had a few pairs of earrings that matched up. A lot didn't. There were a lot of no matches in here. Sad, sad day. Um, let me see. Grab a couple matches. Like I said, there weren't many. These guys, not impressed. Just a pair of green and gold baubles. Um, let me see. They're just, yeah. I'm not even sure there's any other matches over here. It was very unimpressive in the earring department. But I will show you what I was sad about. <laughs> I'll show you what made me sad. I was sad we did not get his match. Because I wanted the other lion that goes with this. Um, yeah. I'm like looking. Alright. I don't see anything. Okay. Um, we got these matches. These kind of look like they match one of those Avon chains. Okay. So, we got that match. And then ones that we didn't, didn't get a match to that, but that's okay. That's Avon. Um, ones we didn't get a match to that I am sad about. I'm not, I don't think I'm sad about this one. Um, I don't think I am. Because that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that's Napier. Um, ones I'm sad about that we did not get a match to. Look at this. Oh, that, not that one. Look at this turquoise and mother of pearl inlay. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is marked on the back Alpaca, Mexico. Now, Alpaca Silver does not test as silver, so I didn't, I didn't even test it, but I am sad, but take this off and just turn this into a pendant. I think this would make a gorgeous pendant on a silver necklace, on a silver chain. So, that's my plan for that. I'm going to put that over and craft. And somebody will get lucky with that one. All right, this. This earring right here, we did not get a match to. And I'm sad because it's KJL for Avon. 
I'm, and, and KJL for Avon is not going to sell as high as KJL. But I've never found KJL. So this is the closest I've come. <laughs> so I'm sad. I only have this one earring. One earring. And then this guy. Which I feel certain that all of this is silver. I don't think this is um, amber because it feels like glass to me and amber usually feels like plastic. And I, I shined a, a UV light on it and it did not glow, but sad about that. And yeah, so that's, that's everything. That's the box. I am happy with the amount of stuff that I have in my yes bin and the amount of things that's in my wearable but lot up bin. Um, I think I've got some great pieces in there to look forward to. I got some silver. So I'm I'm quite happy with that. Hey, I had two of these. I didn't know I had two of these. I still don't know what these are. It says Union 4-4. I don't know what that is. They look like they could have been buttons. Research. Um, but yeah, that's the box and that is everything. I definitely appreciate you guys watching. I am a hot mess. I'm not going to turn the camera around. And um, if you like this video, you learn something, you're a, um, something like that, you were entertained, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you subscribe. I am so close to that 1,000 mark and we're trying to push me over. Um, I put out two videos a week. I try to do unboxings like this one. I do thrift hauls and I do what sold videos. So if reseller content is kind of what you're into, then I would love it if you gave me a follow. And until the next video, I'm going to say a tout à l'heure. See you later.